Astro A10 Gen 2 is the budget headset to beat in 2022. I'm shocked at the quality found here for the price. It costs $59.99 and is a wired headset that works on anything with a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port. And starting off with the build quality, aesthetics, and comfort, Personally, I find this headset to be very attractive. It comes in five colors, lilac, mint, white, gray, and black. In the box, you get the headset, a two meter auxiliary cord with volume control, and a PC splitter that you can't see right now. They report it has an ergonomic design, optimal clamping force, and lightweight construction, which is accurate. It has over-the-ear design with soft memory foam ear pads with a breathable material. The squish to firmness ratio is good, making them extremely comfortable if they fit, which is one of the biggest cons, as these house 32 millimeter drivers compared to the usual 40 to 50 millimeter, making these ear cups kid size. Seriously, no joke, they're tiny. I found they just barely fit medium sized ears, which yours truly has, may fit large ears with some rubbing, and will become on ear headsets for those with extra large ears. Actual numbers for this headset are 1.5 inch width with 1.75 inch height compared to at least 1.5 inch width with 2 inch height or more on the other headsets I own. The ear cups have mild movement up and down to help with overall comfort. Clamping force is just right by being snug loose, which is where it's snug enough to provide good seal and not move much with head shaking, but enough that it doesn't feel like a voice. Very nice. Due to the ear cup material and closed back design, they can get warm after prolonged usage for you ear sweaters out there. The headband pad is made from the same material as the ear cups and is a large surface area, making it so I don't experience any discomfort or pain on the top of my head. Both the ear cup cushions and headband pad can be replaced when they wear down. As of this review, it hasn't popped up on their website yet, so I'm unsure of the cost. The headband is adjustable with movement being smooth throughout. There are notches on the side for those perfectionists out there. They go from baby sized, seriously, it's tiny, to large but not extra large, which equates to about an inch of movement total. These things are also incredibly durable where you can twist the headband aggressively without any issues and I'm not concerned of them breaking. But that doesn't mean that you should treat your products poorly. The weight is on the lighter side of average at 246 grams, paint looks great and feels good and I don't notice any creaking or microfomics from the cable when moving the headset. The removable cable is excellent as it is the right length at 2 meters, the rubber is soft and feels high quality and is extremely malleable, which is how all cables should be. The inline volume control wheel doesn't wobble, is moderately stiff to ensure it stays in place, and is very smooth with a defined maximum and minimum. But there is no mute button on it like there are for some of their headsets, instead that is done by flipping the microphone up. More on that later. In the end, my socks were blown clean off, seriously, I walk around sockless now. Sound quality is very subjective. These come with 32 millimeter neodymium drivers, and for the price, I think most people will really enjoy them. I break sound into four tiers, single player gaming, multiplayer gaming, media, and music. This headset does a great job at single player gaming, media, and music, and a good slash solid job at multiplayer gaming, as I found it to be relatively balanced, but with a fun tuning, meaning everything is relatively the same volume, but instead of being flat, it has some color to it to kind of spice things up, making it so highs come across as clear without being sharp, mids are full, and bass booms while being slightly bloated without being overbearing. Sound stage is small, imaging is good where I can easily tell different parts of sound apart. Directional audio is adequate where I can tell the general location but not the exact location. But it seems like there is a limiter or a compressor on it where the very tops and very bottoms of everything seem to be cut off, preventing me from fully experiencing the sound to the fullest. I also found that the volume in my left ear cup is louder than in my right, despite the cable being fully plugged in, which makes me feel like I'm going deaf. This can affect directional quality and maybe even limit the top and bottom end. So those aspects may be better than I think they are on a non-defective headset. This also means that Astro's QA continues to be trash. As at this point, I've tried three headsets from them and all three of them have had some type of defect, which is highly disappointing and completely ridiculous. As going through Astro support can be painful, kind of like losing your kidney. Therefore, I recommend buying a protection plan that allows you to skip them altogether if you do run into problems. For media slash single player gaming, I really enjoy it as I was able to get lost in the world. They are closed back over open back, which means you can't hear much sound in the room you're in while also limiting overall soundstage. This allows you to hyper focus on what you're watching and playing as the 
real world kind of disappears around you. You can easily hear people talk and the nuances and slash emotion in their speech, along with picking apart different sounds going on at the same time in the background of movies slash games, while having nice bass and treble response for reloads, explosions, gunshots, cars, and whatever else you might run into. What makes it not good for multiplayer gaming is the footsteps are really hard to hear. Directional quality just lets me know generalized location instead of exact location, making it so I know somebody is coming from here, but I don't know how close or how far they are, or exact location, which leads me to dying more often. With the soundstage being small, I can only hear things when they are relatively close, but all of the parts that make it good for media and single player gaming still hold up, giving you an advantage over others. As for the microphone quality, it comes with a 6mm non-removable unidirectional microphone that supports flip to mute. I find the microphone is very flexible, making it easy to get in the ideal position, while also being very smooth and having a dedicated click that you can feel once you go past the threshold to mute it. When this happens, there is a mild pop that the other person can hear. Here is a quick example. Microphones are definitely Astro's kryptonite, as the amount of time I've read reviews or comments that their microphone isn't registering is absolutely staggering. Personally, I think this is mostly user error over a defect, as I had a hard time with my laptop registering them correctly, and had to go into the Realtek control console and manually switch some things for them to be seen correctly, and often had to go back into this every time I plugged them in, which is a computer slash software issue over a headset issue. And I think for the average layman who isn't aware of those things, things would just have a great difficulty with that. As for the sound, I think it sounds great and I'm very pleasantly surprised, but I'll let you decide as I've been using this microphone for the entire review. It is unedited except for boosting the game in post to an audible range, which doesn't change the sound profile, it just makes it so you don't have to turn up your volume. Moving into the conclusion, this is a very easy recommendation. It does everything above average, I was constantly surprised at how good it was. To do that, I'm giving it 5 stars and labeling it the budget headset to beat in 2022. However, it does have some glaring negatives such as the small ear cups, small headband adjustments, and continued QA issues. You'll also want to make sure that the 3.5mm cord is plugged in completely into the headset, as there were several times that I thought it was fully plugged in when it wasn't. It got to the point I would actually physically look when inserting it to make sure that it was fully flush. Also these days, what you can get for $60 absolutely blows my mind as the quality of headsets has dramatically increased from several years ago. So while I'm labeling this the budget headset to beat in 2022, it could very easily be surpassed by something else. Like, dislike, share, subscribe if you like. Otherwise, I will see you and your beautiful face on the next one. Peace out and God bless.